In this tutorial, we're going to look at two different ways of dividing a surface into sub-objects, so dividing it into a series of faces, for example. Um, so I already have this surface I built in Rhino and have embedded in this component here. So the first one we're going to look at is just the divide surface component. So it looks like this. Um, as you know, surfaces in Rhino are um, built in U and V directions. So there's a bunch of U and V isocurves and then sort of lofted between those U's and V's. Um, so you can see it already has the U to V, U and V inputs here. We can then plug our surface into the surface um, out input and then we can do sliders for the U and V. So these are the number of U direction columns and V direction rows that we'll have on that surface. So this will be a whole number, an integer. So let's go um, from 2 is less than 20 for example. So no floating point numbers for this. And then we'll do the same for the V. So you can see as I change this, it'll increase the number of um, rows in one direction and the number of columns in the other direction. Um, so this is really great because the output are points and also normals. So for example, you can put a circle um, C and R on the surface. We could put the circles on the points and then we could use the normal for the normal of those circles. And then we can do a slider for the radius of the circles and you can see it'll then put a bunch of circles on the surface that are all oriented to the surface at those particular points. Um, the other one we can do is, I'll just delete this part of the component, is the divide domain and also the isotrim. So I like this one because it actually gives you edges and faces on the surface. So to use it we just plug the surface into the domain of the divide domain. So the domain is the area of the surface. Um, the next one we plug into is the surface into the subdivide surface. Um, one thing to keep in mind here is this one, depending on your display, it changes the name of it. So it's called the isotrim sometimes. It's called, um, it's called the isotrim when you look at it in the menu. So under surface utilities isotrim but then the domain says subdivide surface, so that can be a little confusing sometimes. Um, we'll then plug this into the domain. This is the domain, the new domain. So it has an existing domain, and then we're now putting a new domain um, into it. So we can change the U's and V's by adding sliders. You can see as I change these, it changes the subdivision on that surface. And so this is great because you can also deconstruct this B rep and then actually extract the sub-objects of that surface. So I can, if I want to put a circle or something in the middle of these uh, faces, I could use the area component and then put uh, little uh, points in the middle of each of these faces, or I could use the points coming out of the vertex channel or the edges that are coming out of there. Um, so there's quite a bit you can do with a surface when you divide it using this technique. 